There's a new middleman who's getting y'all money, bro. A new middleman that y'all don't see coming, but he there and he's slick and it's hard because middleman on the block. Everybody gets assassinated. The pandemic overshadowed what the tax plan was mm -hmm. supposed to be. And then I looked up at it and I was like, well, later when I, when I saw it, I said, what you saying? Like 58%. <laughs> They said fifty eight percent. I said, "What? You my partner? The IRS is my partner now." <laughs> wow. Oh no! All you get is a Yankee hat. I'm going to Houston. <laughs> <Fuck that. laughs> Was well, that said the Eminem show? That is what it says, bro. I don't, I don't quite understand what that means because M definitely wasn't there. But maybe that is a, a, a I don't know. I'm about to look him up. Man. Okay, I was surprised. I've not heard about that. But okay, yeah, I'm out so that did not sound like Eminem laughing in the background. <laughs> no, nah, that, that wasn't. That definitely wasn't. That definitely wasn't, man. But but as always, man, fifty the ever entertaining, but also dropping some some interesting and real stuff. Yeah, bro. And a lot of artists have asked that's about taxes and the music marketers is slightly different on each side, right? What you're doing as a marketing agency or record label and what you're doing as an artist. Um, so this was a perfect clip, right? Because tax season's coming up. And it's funny because the pandemic showed a lot when it came to to taxes like we saw a lot of people leave new york a lot of people leave california mm -hmm. all right going to these states and what i thought about is you got to be aware who's getting into your money yeah all right and the way i want to position this is the new middleman there's a new middleman who's getting y'all money bro a new middleman that y'all don't see coming but he there and he's slick and it's hard because Middleman on the block. Everybody gets assassinated. That's why, that's why that's where it start, bro. So we get put on the map. We get put on the target list. Hey, man. All I'm saying <laughs> is this is crazy. We've been like, oh, man. We're cutting out the middleman. The labels, they don't really have as much control anymore. Da-da-da-da-da. One, I think some of that is overblown, right? And it's not as much of the artists fighting and the label's not being able to get control as it is, there's a new way that the label can get their money, yeah. right? And things that they have to adjust to, right? They see it coming anyway. There's They're marketplace change, right? It's always going to yeah, get a bag. Always. But the other part about this is the reason that y'all say y'all don't need the labels is because there's a new middleman. The new middleman is what y'all are saying is empowering y'all, but we can't find a way around it. And that's these tech platforms. Ah, uh, Okay. How much of your money <laughs> does TikTok get when you get a rose? 50%. 50%. 50%. How much do you know when you get a super chat? How much they take? Actually, I don't know. Probably the, about, I would guess around the same. YouTube, bro, gotta be about the same. They take 30%. Okay. Okay. Less. Okay. All, All right. right. Yeah. But if somebody gives you that money from an iPhone, it's another 30%. Damn. <laughs> right All right you just lost 30 on 30 before you even touch your money and you still got to split that shit with uncle sam bro that makes me think of i had a situation where i had to send my roommate rent and i sent it to him with paypal and by the time the money hit his account she was she was no. under she was under by a girl i was like damn it oh. took 50 out this shit. i gotta send you another 50 <laughs> I just sent you money 10 minutes ago. What do you mean you ain't got enough? Like, what do you mean we short? That hurt because you knew better too, bro. I did know better, bro. I didn't, I, I didn't think about it in the moment. I was like, oh, it's here. It's already set up. Let me go right. send it over to him. Hey. My cash out don't exist. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, come on, bro. <laughs> but this is this is the dilemma that, that artists are now facing. Yeah. Right? And then nobody's thinking about it. Nobody's talking about it yet. Let me take a quick second to say if you're an artist trying to blow your music up or if you're a manager, a music professional in general trying to help an artist blow their music up, I have something that's a game changer for you and it's completely free. As you may know, we've helped multiple artists go from zero to hundreds of thousands of streams. We've helped multiple artists go from hundreds of thousands to millions of streams, chart on Billboard, go viral, all of that stuff. And we've now made the way we've branded multiple artists and helped them go viral completely free, step by step in Brandman Network. All you have to do is check out brandmannetwork.com. You apply, it's completely free. But the thing is, 
we're not going to let everybody in forever. So the faster you apply, the better your chance of getting accepted. Brandmannetwork.com. Check it out. Back to the video. This is the dilemma that, that artists are now facing. Yeah. Right. And then nobody's thinking about it. Nobody's talking about it yet. But as a content creator, these other platforms that are empowering you are taking from your streams. Right. They're there. Now you have more control than you might have on the label or more information than you might have with a label. But your distribution is going to be taxed more and more over time. It's the virus. You know, we plant and then we spread. Mm -hmm. All right. We got y'all addicted to us and we up that cost every single year. We make it harder for you to reach your audience. So you got to pay more in ads, right? We make it, we give you ways to reach your audience though that do work, but you tax you for that, mm -hmm. right? So we look at the great opportunities to stream from your room, right? And make money, get donations. Great opportunity, right? The argument, my argument, right? If I'm the company, because I always like seeing it both sides. It's like, hey, bro, you don't gotta pay for gas. You don't go gotta go through the stress yeah. and the headache, right? All these things. You got a fixed cost. You really don't have employees. You chose to have employees. We can make money without employees, right? Yeah. There, there's <laughs> there's sides to it, right? But these costs are right now hitting costs that aren't fully being addressed, partially because there's some artists. Well, there's still a lot of artists and creators in general that haven't experienced it yet on a level that they care where they're relying heavily on on that mm -hmm. and then the other side of it is i don't think just enough people are taking it seriously yet right now it's not enough people who are trying to say hey i'm quitting and going to become a content creator i think there's enough actually but we haven't seen that like wave of people going back to work yet yeah. <laughs> or like coming out like hey i really don't got it like y'all think i do we haven't seen enough of that yet for people to realize no nah, this is a another potential dead end in that regard you still gonna have to figure out how to fly before you hit that dead end wall yeah all right so because you got the streaming uh you have anytime you get money through the platform they're gonna they're taking money period yeah, i don't care 100%. sticker stream Badge. subscription yeah, badge, badge all, of it. all of it bro all of it and your fans don't know and the crazy part about it, it makes it harder for you to tell your fans to be like no don't give me money this way give it to me that way one because the platform like tiktok is gonna say whoa 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 man quit telling people to do that cash app thing yeah all right youtube isn't as bad with that but tiktok like nah dog like y'all y'all gotta do it this way and it's inconvenient for them and that's the thing yep inconvenient right <laughs> and we know higher friction means less conversion yeah period all right it's like oh okay i'll donate next time then or when i'm like at home yeah, my cash up is down i got you, you later. know like that type of thing so you got to take the money anyway and let that let that transaction occur because it still deepens the relationship even though you made less money than you wanted to yeah and then try to lead people to these additional routes so there's a middleman coming and, you know, we've been demonizing the labels for the past 15, 20 years. The creators at some point are going to turn on this new savior and look at him as a new middleman. Yeah, bro. It's going to take the revolt of all the, the OG TikTokers. There's been, you know, tens of millions, 20s of millions, maybe like yeah. some of them in the hundreds of millions. You know what I'm saying? Like you said, it's going to take one of them come out and go like, man, this TikTok shit. Don't pay what you think. I remember when the credit fund first started, and there was a lot of creditors posting their um, payouts from them hitting like multi million streams, and that started a conversation. And then that shit died down because, like you said, we're looking at like, okay, well, I don't get a million of views on my videos anyway, so shit ain't gonna affect me. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? Regular consumers are like, I'm not even a creditor. You know what I'm saying? I never plan to join the credit <laughs> fund, so I don't care that you made forty dollars yeah. for a, a million views or whatever. I, I don't remember the guy's video, but it was something crazy like that. Mm -hmm. like it, was, it was some low shit. And so, yeah, man, like sometimes I understand because like with TikTok, it's like they're look, probably looking at like, yo, we gi we give you this audience so fast. Hell yeah, we taking 50 percent, bro. Ain't no way, bro. You think I'm about to put you in front of a billion people overnight yo. and I'm not taking none of that? Come on now. YouTube, yeah. that's probably why that price is lower because like, yeah, we're giving you the access to the audience, but it's a lot harder to grow on YouTube. I would be pissed if I had to, we had to work as hard. We worked on YouTube, but I'm going to take 50 percent of a super chat. Like, come on, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like you, yeah. that, that was me that did that, right? You didn't give me. I had to. I grinded this audience, but you didn't yeah. give me that shit. So sometimes I get it, sometimes I don't get it. But yeah, bro, I give it another three years. 
three years. Yeah, another three. Because like I said, not enough people at the level yet for it to, it to trickle down. Mm-hmm. Say at least another, I think at least another three years. Yeah. And you still have these increasing costs. Mm-hmm. What does it cost for your, your merch? More. Are you going to give them a lower quality shirt for the same amount of money? Right? An NFT shirt. This is how taxes work, right? It's like when taxes happen, the government taxes, somebody's going to feel it. That's yeah. the problem when people are always like, these people should get paid less money or these taxes should lower. Or these, It's going to be pushed somewhere. Yeah. Right? It's like, oh, man, we taxing food more money. Either the price of it, the money, uh, the, the bread is going to go up or the business is just going to eat that cost. Yeah. All right? How many businesses are trying to eat that cost? Yeah, exactly, bro. <laughs> like, we're not trying to eat those costs. So, but you don't right? eat bread anyway, man, you know? Hey, bro, got to have it. Got to have it. Like, think, as an artist, are you really trying to eat these yeah. costs? So it's the game that you're constantly playing, and it's a part of it. But it's going to be interesting, especially as artists, right? You still are going to have maybe the manager that you have to share a percentage with, and those percentages have stayed fixed, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, it's like you're not going to see managers saying, oh, yeah, I want to take 2% instead of 10%. You oh, know yeah, what I never, mean? Because the never. rest of your costs are going up. If anything, it might go up too, but it's going to at least stay fixed. So you got the same fixed cost with new added variable cost, mm-hmm. right? Or increased variable cost. That's never a good mix, right? So, hey, artist, look, there's a new middleman in town. And, you know, we all got to answer to him in some way. <laughs> But, but, we answer the hours every Tuesday and Thursday. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> tune in. <laughs> so like, hey man, like we just got to figure out how to navigate that because then you're also going to still have your three percent that you're paying a payment processor on Stripe or PayPal or whoever. Every one, like, bro. Your payment processor. Hey, always. <laughs> you're never going to avoid that one. So then we're going to charge me to charge money. That's just crazy. <laughs> Hey, unless you're just gonna have everybody cash app you, and you know that's you know there's a reason we don't do that. Yeah, bro. <laughs> that's such a business model, bro. Yeah, we're gonna charge people to charge money. That's just wild, bro. Oh man. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> but hey, those are just the initial thoughts on that. I think it's something we'll cover, and we should keep getting. We can we should get into more um, over time. But to end this out. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this clip, then you should watch the full episode of No Labels Necessary that it came from, and it's going to really blow your mind. Check this clip right here.